Hi guys, it's Michelle. Today I'm going to be showing you what I did in my guest bathroom. Um, I have a lot of bathroom videos coming up. So if you like home decor, DIYs, or if you're just trying to turn your house into a home, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out. So I'll show you what this bathroom looked like before. I took everything out of it. Um, this, is, this will be my second time redecorating this bathroom. So I took everything off the shelves and everything out. Um, I don't need to paint the walls or anything. So let me show you what I did. I'm going to start off over here by the sink and vanity area. So like I said, I didn't need to repaint anything. Everything still looked really good and fresh. Um, I do have a video showing how I painted that vanity and I will link that down below. Over here by the vanity, I just put in one decorative towel. And uh, if you don't know how to display your towel in this way, I'll link the video down below on how to do that. And I always like to put uh, a wallflower in here just to keep the bathroom smelling fresh. Uh, these two beautiful wall pieces here are from Ross and I got them about six months ago and they were like $19.99 each. Um, over here I have just the paper towel holder right now. This is the guest bathroom that's used a lot like when people come to the house so it's more cost effective to use the paper towels. Over here I just have simply a soap dispenser and a plant in this really nice blingy vase which I love. Kept the same mirror because I still love the mirror. I changed out the the light fixture. This is from Lowe's. So if anybody's interested, I'll link it down below. Cabinets are still the same. The handles over here are from, the handle and the toilet paper holder are from Amazon. So guys, if you see anything in the video that you have a question about, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll try to list in the comments like where I got everything from in the description box I mean yeah. so as I said in my last video if you're struggling with how to decorate any part of your home or part of a bathroom let me know in the comments and that'll help me to determine what video to do next and thanks to everyone who watched my kitchen video this past week I appreciate your support and if you missed the kitchen decorating video I'll have it linked down below Okay, let me take you over here by above the toilet. Uh, you're going to see in every bathroom that I do, I normally install two or three shelves above the toilet. And what that does is give me gives me the opportunity for storage as well as decor. And decor is really what gives the room its identity. So I always like putting decor um, in, the, in a room. So I have some room spray here, some extra toilet paper some extra towels. The towels are decorative in, in this case and they coordinate with the colors in the shower curtain. So that's a good opportunity to kind of move your color scheme around the room as well. Just have some extra cotton balls in this apothecary jar here. It's a great way to display nicely something that you need to store. Uh, this piece right here is from Ross. Um, I put this uh, orchid inside of this vase just to give it a little bit more height and the wall art behind it is from home goods and I've had that for a while now but it fills the space really really well um, behind the apothecary jar and the orchid area is the opposite wall and it's where I have a storage cabinet so above the storage cabinet is this beautiful mirrored mosaic wall art that I got from Ross many years ago but I have seen it in Ross since then and next to it is a full-length mirror that you can check yourself out with um, and then over here I have some more towels but the main purpose of this cabinet is towels and I can show you how I organize this whole bathroom in a separate video. If anybody's interested in that, just let me know. Up, up, 
Okay guys, the final area is the shower and tub area. So I'll take you over here and I, I do what I always do in every single bathroom is I always hang curtains in front of my shower curtain. Um, so I'm gonna, hi guys, <laughs> I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And I'm using this beautiful aqua color, aqua gray and white are the colors that I'm using in the bathroom right now. And I love this color scheme. It's so soft and gentle and it's easy on the eyes. And I, I just absolutely love it. Here's a closer look at the pattern. And this curtain is by DKNY and it is from Home Goods. So guys, I'm gonna give you an overall look. Now remember, if you like DIYs, decorating, or if you're just trying to make your house into a home, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out. So guys, thanks for coming along the way with me today. Like I said, if you have any questions about anything, definitely drop it in the comments. I'll be sure to get back with you. And I will see you in the next one. It feels like I'm lying every time Someone asks how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something mm -hmm. Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember all things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up, no, no.